Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today I'm here to bring you the Razorback Wrapped Swimsuit. In this video we're going to be working on the one piece option. Uh, check out our other video where I will be working on the two piece option, the bikini option. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> All right, let's get started. Now remember, before you get to this point, when it's at the point of cutting your one-piece swimsuit, make sure that you figure yourself out, your uh, sides um, measurement, side waist measurement, um, you figure out how tall you are and things like that, and then uh, go ahead and cut the pattern according to, that, to those measurements. Um, there is a cut line where you can add, lengthen, or shorten your um, swimsuit because we all have different sized torsos, um, so you want to make sure that your swimsuit, since this is a one piece that's really important, you want it to fit, you don't want it to be too tight or too long. We do have a video on how to figure that out. So make sure you check that out before you actually cut your pattern. That's super important for a perfect fit and that's what we all want when we're sewing our own um, pieces, right? Anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, this is my front piece and this is my um, my outer, the piece that's gonna get ruched, the piece is gonna get um, scrunched, gathered, I couldn't think of the word. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my outer side, my one side that's gonna be gathered, uh, and I'm going to put in a gathering stitch. Now, there's the one side that has the shoulder piece, you see the shoulder piece right here. This side does not have the shoulder piece, this side will have the, the thing on, the, the other one that's gonna be right here, that's gonna show through under. Um, this is the side that we're going to gather. Um, what's really cool about this is that if you use two different fabrics, as you can see, you can go check out our tester page on our Facebook page. We have those and obviously when you go download the pattern, you can see all the different tester pictures. Um, you can use two different fabrics, coordinating fabrics, and you'll have like one shoulder be one fabric and the other one be your main fabric. I think that's super cute. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to be using the same fabric for this one. But anyway, I thought that that was really super cute. Anyway, so we're going to gather and we're going to do is we're going to leave about a half an inch we're going to leave a half an inch on each side for our um, seam allowance so I'm going to start at a half an inch in and I'm going to put in a baste basting stitch to gather you can gather however you like to gather that's fine um, but I like put in a basting stitch you can put one or two rows depending on whatever you want to do um, Oh, one little tip too before we get all the way in. There's going to be a lot of times where the, in this pattern where we say uh, base this together instead of sew it together. The reason being because if we go ahead and sew it together first instead of basting it together, you're going to have such a thick seam allowance. It's going to be bulging and thick because you're going to have so many layers. You're going to have the, um, the two layers of the bathing suit. You're going to have your liners. You're going to have your, um, if you're, if you're going to do a built-in bra, all that stuff. So you don't want it to get bulky and not be able to sew it up at the end when it's supposed to be all sewn together. So this is why we baste instead. So I just wanted to give you that little, in, in, um, explanation. So let's go ahead and put in the basting stitch on here. And let's move on. All right, so on my machine for a basting stitch, all I do is it's we're doing a straight stitch. And so this is the width. It's just as, I'm just gonna set it at zero. And then the length, I'm gonna set it as high as my machine will go. My machine goes to a five, so that's gonna be my basting. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in a half an inch down from the top and put in that. Remember to keep a, a piece at the back um, because that's how you, you're gonna gather. So you wanna make sure that you have some um, thread at the back to pull it and gather it. All right, there is my basting stitch right there and we're gonna gather. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my other piece. This is my other uh, front piece, the one that's not getting gathered. And I'm going to use that as my guide on how to how much to gather this piece right here as you can see um, that's how long it's supposed to be so I'm gonna pull my basting stitch my um, what do you call it my uh, bobbin thread and I'm going to gather it to that same length it's right there once that's done then I'm gonna go ahead and even out my gathers once my gathers are even, we can go ahead and put a little knot at the end 
at each end so my gathering doesn't come undone. I'm just kind of tying it right here um, so it doesn't do anything weird on me as I'm trying to do the next few steps. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab, this is my two outer pieces. Remember I said this one's gonna be the one that crosses over. Um, it doesn't matter that it's backwards. It's the same width. Anyway, this is the one that's gonna cross over. All right, for the next step, we're gonna grab our back piece. And y'all, you know that I am super duper honest with you all. And I could go back and edit my video and just forget about this, but I wanna tell you all because um, I want to help you and so if I can help you by showing you my mistakes that's what I'm going to do remember earlier I said to be really careful when you're cutting out your fabric uh, to make sure you measure yourself and cut the correct measurements well I forgot to also to mention make sure that you are really paying attention to the way that you're cutting your fabric because you are overlapping um, you have to have two different things that are going to overlap and they're going to both face a certain way um, so as I was trying to just cut really fast and everything like that I faced one of my pattern pieces down which made obviously the one side be on the other side when you flip it around I don't know if that's making sense. What I'm trying to say is I cut my fronts, both of my fronts, my ruched one and my in, my inner outer, if you know what I'm talking about, the one that crosses over, I made them both have the shoulder on the same side, which means it doesn't work. I would have both of them be on this side and not have any coverage on this side and I need coverage. Um, so I went ahead and cut another one. And I was talking about how I was going to make both the same fabric, but as we will have it, I did not have enough of this fabric to cut another one. So we're going to have a coordinating fabric go with it. That's okay. I actually made a high tide board shorts for my son out of these two fabrics. They coordinate, so that's what I did for his shorts. Actually, there was another fabric that I added in there too. Um, so it is kind of cool because then I feel like we'll be kind of coordinating as well. Um, he has like a wave pattern on his, and I, didn't, I don't think I had enough of it, um, but that's okay because these kind of go together. So it works out great. So let's get going. Just remember, make sure that you cut it the right way. So now I'm gonna grab my back and I'm gonna put it face up on my board and I'm grabbing my front. Here's my one front. This is my ruched because I want that gathered to be on the outside. Um, so I'm gonna put that one on first, right sides together on top of my shoulder. And then I'm gonna grab my other one and I'm gonna put it right side down on top. Swim fabric is so slippery. See now I have one on each side. Before I had both of them this side not good and then I'm gonna go over and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my serger for this seam because this seam will only have like you'll have your liner but the liner won't meet right here the liner will meet at the neck so you won't have like a bulky thing here but if you want to use just a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine so you don't have bulky seams you can also do that so let's go sew these up all right now with my liner I am going to add uh, the sew in my um, cups for my uh, for my shelf bra so what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna grab my back and I'm gonna grab my fronts my two fronts and I'm gonna meet them right sides together at the shoulders and baste those in place all right once those shoulders are basted which is just that straight stitch we did like on our side we're gonna grab our uh, bodies or bathing suit shelf bra that we just kind of create it and we're gonna drape it over our shoulders kind of figure out where your shoulder is so you get it just right all right once that's on there then we're gonna go ahead if we want to put these on we're gonna put place it right where you think it's your optimum like where you want it to be at once it's once you know you're gonna wear it and we're going to pin it on or mark it with, you know, a marker or however you want to mark it. And then, so that way it's on there and then we can go sew it on. All right, once they are laced where I want them, I'm gonna go in on the wrong side, change my stitch to a zigzag stitch, and I'm going to sew all the way around and attach that cup to my um, liner. All right, 
my cuffs are sewn on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that basting stitch off the shoulders. That was just for you to try it on and be able to tell where the cuff should go. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my back liner and put it face up. This is my back liner, my whole back liner. Put it face up and then I'm gonna grab my shelf bra and I'm gonna put it uh, right side up on top of my liner and we're going to sew those shoulders together. Okay, if you want more support, that's what it is. If you want more support, um, you may want to use like power mesh or just a heavier fabric for your built-in bra, shelf bra. Um, I'm just using the liner fabric, um, so this is up to you. And we're going to sew those shoulders together. Now I'm going to grab my liners, my front liner, and my cups. Where did I put? Here it is. I'm like, where did they go? And I'm going to attach those together. But to figure it out first, I'm going to grab, here's my outer, not the ruched one, but the other one. I'm going to put it face down on my, on my mat. And then I'm going to put my liner face up on my mat. And it's going to be like, it's going to be the opposite. See that? They're opposite. So that's how I know that this is the right side right here. Okay. And I'm going to grab my where my cups are and I'm going to place them right side against my outer. So it's this one. I mean my liner, sorry. And I'm going to meet here at the shoulders. All right, now those are basted. I'm going to grab the back p the back liners which I just basted together. See right here. Okay, and they're face up. And I'm gonna grab my other cup. I'm gonna place it right on top, face up, my back up. So this is the back of it. This is the right side. The right side's gonna touch the right side of the uh, back of the liners. So it's in the right side of the liner. And I'm gonna go ahead and go really quickly and baste that one shoulder together again. All right, so I've got my back liner and my shelf bra back liner, and they're both facing up. I've got my front shelf, light, shelf bra liner, and they are facing right sides together, the back and the front. Now I'm gonna grab the other piece that I already basted together at the shoulders. This is my front and my shelf bra liner that I already mashed together. And I put it right on top here at the shoulder seams. So I'm gonna show you in one second. Once I match that up and I'm gonna stitch that together. If you move this really front piece, you'll see that both of my cups are here facing up my both liners, shelf bra liner, my cups are face up right here, and then here is my front liner, is face down, right sides together here, where I'm gonna match them all up. You See that? So I'm gonna go ahead and sew right here, uh, base this together, so they're all, the layers are basted together. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and grab our outer, grab our outer, and I'm gonna place like that neck area right at my mat and I'm gonna put it wrong side up and one well you probably won't be doing this on your mat but I am so I'm just gonna pin it to my mat so it doesn't slide down because like I said swim can be very slippery um, one thing that works really great for me is using clips with my swim um, because clips kind of lash on hard. Um, then if I want to, I'll use clip and then I will pin farther on the inside so I don't have to remove the pin when I'm sewing. I'll have to remove the clips but I don't have to remove the pin and I think that kind of helps it not to loosen up and go everywhere. And then I'm gonna grab my liner. See my liner right here? Here's my back. And this is the right side of my back. So I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna put wrong sides together. So here's my shoulder seams, 
both of my shoulder seams. I'm going to match them up right here to this shoulder seam, wrong sides together, and clip or pin, however you, however you do, you do you. And to avoid more bulk here, um, I like to nest my uh, seam allowances. So like my shoulder, my liner seam allowance is going one way and the other one is going the other way. So they're kind of like one's going this way and one's going that way like that. So when they match up right there, they're not like super bulky. Both of them going the same way. They're going separate ways right here. Um, so you can do that. That kind of helps a little bit with the bulk. And remember, you've got all these layers on here. So make sure that you're catching all these layers as you're pinning and then obviously more importantly as you go to base them together all right and then we're going all the way down the front so again you want to make sure that all your layers are there um, so here's my first layer my liner and then put my second layer right on top of it so you'll have the three layers right there and we're gonna go all the way down the front all the way to the other side as well Once we're done putting all these clips, we're gonna go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to baste those all together. All right, you all, we're coming along. I'm super excited. It's beginning to take shape, as you can see. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically mark our quarters for our, um, for our elastic. And I got extra thread right here, I wanna cut it. But I don't know where I put my trimming scissors. I never know where I put stuff. Okay, but what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and find our cut quarters basically. So I'm gonna grab my two, my shoulder seams and notch them together and go to the front and mark. And I usually like to do a little notch with my scissors, but, oh, there they are. Let me grab them. All right, what I mean by a little notch is like just clip a tiny little bit right there so that whenever I go to attach what I need to attach, it is there in case my fabric, my pin, my clip falls off or moves or whatever, it's still there. Um, I'm gonna grab my end, my front end, I went all the way down to the front and I'm gonna fold it and bring it to that middle section and that's gonna be my one quarter basically and mark it and then do the same on the other side all right now I'm going to grab my elastic which I cut this is my swim elastic I cut it by my size chart I'm gonna fold it the two ends and I'm gonna mark my half and this time I am NOT gonna cut it because I don't want to cut my elastic so I'm just marking it you can even use a marker. Sometimes I put a dot of marker on there to like, so, you know, it'll stay on there. I'm coming one end to the middle and here's my quarter. And then the other end to the middle. All right, now I'm going to attach it to the wrong side of my neckline, starting a quarter inch away from the edge. And that is so that we can eliminate some extra bulk right here. So I'm gonna go a quarter inch and I'm going to clip my um, elastic right there and I'm gonna go to that first spot, my first quarter. And we're going to clip it to that first quarter. And then as I'm sewing, I'm gonna be stretching it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that stretch it out now and kind of clip right there and I'm gonna be stretching it out slightly as I'm sewing it on. So once I pin it to all my other ones, I'm gonna go back to my sewing machine or my serge or whatever your preferred stretch stitch method is, we're gonna stretch this, this um, elastic on. I'm thinking I'm gonna just do a zigzag stitch to continue to eliminate the bulk uh, because then I'm just gonna, we're gonna fold it down and top stitch it later. Now that that is stitched on, we are doing so good. We're gonna go ahead and fold that down, fold it in towards the wrong side. 
and we're going to top stitch it down. Um, you can do that with any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine, triple stitch, uh, zigzag stitch, lightning bolt stitch. You can do it on your cover stitch, um, whatever you do your top stitching with. I'm going to go over to my cover stitch. I know I get a lot of questions sometimes when I go and work over on my cover stitch uh, because it looks like a serger. Um, it's not my serger, it's actually a cover stitch. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using to top stitch the um, top down. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab just my back. Here's my back piece. No, nope, this is not. My, yeah, this is my back piece. I'm like, that looks weird. Okay, and I'm going to lay it out right side up and I'm going to grab my ruched piece. Here's my ruched, my part that was gathered. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom, right sides together, the back and the front outer and I'm going to baste it to the side. So start at the bottom and go up because it's not going to go all the way up. It's just gonna, it's gonna there's gonna be a gap right here at the end. Now, um, you can, if you wanted to add um, elastic right here, that's gonna be left raw. Um, it's not meant to, that liner is not meant to have an elastic, but you'll have some later. But if you wanted to add an extra there, you are more than welcome to. But that notice that you'll have two, um, if you do add it now, you'll have two on there. So that's something, that's a note that's on the instructions um, if you want to omit that. So we'll go ahead and baste this on and then do the same on the other side. All right, now once that's sewn together, we're gonna go ahead and grab our other, our front piece, our outer, the inside piece, and we're gonna place it right on that side as well to sew it together, but we're only going to sew the lining, so not the um, shelf bra. We're not gonna sew that on yet because we're gonna sew the, shelf brought together with the other shelf brought back and that's when we'll add the other things so we're going to go ahead and pin it together and baste it together like we did on the other side and this other side the left side we'll sew that later so here we are um here's our front and i just got my front here here's my back here's the shelf bra and this is hanging from basically the back piece. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring that back piece shelf bra over and the right side of it is gonna to touch the right side of the one that, remember we just attached that side but we did not attach the shelf bra. So we're gonna attach those sides together. Um, and you can sew them in your preferred stretch stitch right here. I'm just gonna hop over to my serger and sew that together right there really quickly just with my serger um just real quick all right so i have surged it now i'm gonna flip it over to the wrong side and i'm going to basically quarter this i'm gonna fold it in half and mark my half right here and then i'm gonna do this the same to the other side fold it mark it And then we're gonna grab our one inch elastic and we're gonna fold it and find a half and then fold it in the sides and find our quarters. One, two. And then we're gonna place it to the wrong side of our shelf bra, the bra edge matching those quarters because we're going to have to stretch a little bit and we're going to go 
to leave a quarter inch at the end just like we did at the other one when we were sewing our other elastic because elastic can be a little bit bulky and you already are going to have so many layers you don't want to add extra layers to that side seam you can hear my son running around down the hallway that's what you hear so we're going to sew to a quarter inch I'm going to go over to my sewing machine. I'm going to zigzag stitch it on. You can do any kind of stretch stitch you would like to do. Stretching slightly as we sew it on. All right, now that that's top stitched on, we're going to go ahead and fold it in towards the wrong side. And then we're going to go over and top stitch it just like we did our other elastic. We'll kind of pull it tight and top stitch it on. Alright, now that that's completed, I'm going to wrap it around the front and get my bodice, body and liner all at, get together with the, the other side that we didn't sew together yet. And then we're going to put them together and base them on. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this together and go and baste it on real quick and then come back to our next step. All right, now that that one side is basted together, or sewn together, I'm going to, oh yeah, right here, what am I saying? I'm going to go ahead and grab the back shelf bra and I'm gonna baste it to the back of the um, bathing suit. Could I not think of the name? The back of the suit on that one, on that side. So be based at the bottom, you're going to baste over here the back of the liner. All right, so now that that's sewn on both sides, this is the shelf bra. We're going to tip it over to like the inside. So like you can see that back shelf bra and we're going to grab our liner, the back liner. And the reason why we want to get move that shelf bra is so that it's not um, in the way when I'm going to sew the liner because we're going to sew the liner to our um, to our sides. All right, so on this side, we're just going to pin it right here along the edge. And now this time you can go ahead and use your preferred stretch stitch. So I'm going to probably go over, hop over to my serger and serge those seams. On this side, you'll have that and then you'll have the shelf bra right here. Now remember that we didn't catch that uh, elastic. That way it wouldn't get like a bulky seam, but we're catching all of them right now. Obviously not the elastic, but uh, all the layers and we're going to go ahead and now we can serge or you know whatever stretch stitch you want to do now to get them all together. All right, now for the bottom of our suit, for the crotch seam, we're gonna grab, this is my gathered piece, so my outside, my gathered side and my back, and we're going to match it right sides together here at the bottom, and we're gonna sew that together. Then we're going to go ahead and, or, our inside piece and our liner from the from the front our front liner are going to become one single piece so I'm going to base those two together right here so I'm gonna go and sew these together with my preferred stretch stitch and I'm going to base these two together. So I'm going to use my serger on these, this one and I'm going to use my sewing machine and just base that together real quick. All right, now I've turned my suit. So this is my um, outer, but the, like the inside outer and my liner, the two I based it together. And this is my back liner. This is the right side of my back liner. And I'm going to match the right side of my front liner and the right side of my back liner right sides together here are the crotch and I'm going to go ahead and sew those together and I'm going to use 
my serger. So I'm just gonna go and sew that together. And then we'll just do leg holes, arm holes, and we'll be done. Almost done. So now we flip everything around um, through one of the openings. If at first you feel like, oh no, I did something wrong. No, no, no. Just take your time and turn it inside out and then right side out again and it'll all come together. Look at how good that's looking. I feel like I, when I first turned around, I'm like, this is not right. It's not going to be because there's a lot of layers. Um, and then I just kind of wiggled it around. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, it is right. I just was turning the wrong way. But here it is. We're almost finished. Now, all we've got left to do is our bands. So for all of them, so I kind of pin them together, our arm bands and our leg bands. We're gonna go ahead and grab our elastic and we're gonna fold it right sides together, well, fold it together, and we're going to zigzag stitch them close right there at the overlap. So I'm gonna do that for all of them just really quickly over on my sewing machine. All right, now that they're all been zigzag stitched, we're gonna do the same thing that we did earlier. We're gonna grab our elastic and we're going to quarter it. So I'm gonna fold it in half and then the back and the front together and go to the sides and that's how we're going to quarter and I'm going to do that for all four of them. All right, once those are quartered, we're going to go ahead and quarter our arm size and our uh, um, legs. So we're going to kind of uh, grab it and so you see that their seams don't quite match up because the back is longer. Um, so you can go from the top and fold it together and find where the half is and mark it like I like to do a little notch um, because if you use both of your seams as your halves then um, it will be uneven and it won't the elastic won't match up right but now the half and the shoulder seam together and go to each side and mark it and I'm gonna do the same for the other side the other arm side So those are ready. And then for the leg holes, we're gonna do the same thing. So we've got the outers, the two outers, that's the wrong side, and we've got the liner, the inside and then the two liners. That inside is gonna get sandwiched in between those two. So you're gonna see the inside touch the wrong side of the outer. So don't be alarmed and be like, oh, did I do this wrong? You didn't do it wrong. That's how it's supposed to be. And you can go from, you can do it from the leg if you want the seam to be, it doesn't really matter um, where you come from, but you just wanna make sure that it's half. So from there to here and mark it. And then match those two halves and go to the sides and mark that. And do that for both legs. What you want the inside to look like is you want to see the white liner on the inside, the right side of the liner. So you're sandwiching that second front piece in there. All right, so now once that's done, we can go ahead and grab our elastics and match up those seams with it. So. Uh, our leg elastic match up on the inside all those quarter points just like we did with our neckline and then go over to our sewing machine and stitch it on with your preferred um, stretch stitch which I'm just probably going to do my sewing machine on a uh, zigzag stitch or something like that and we're gonna do that for all the elastic, the, both arms and for the legs, leg elastic. And make sure when you sew it on that you are sewing all the layers and stretching lightly as you go. Now obviously you can do each one at a time if you wanted to do like you know the arms first and then the legs or if you want to do the legs first then the arms or one arm one leg at a time that's fine I just like to do everything at the same time that's why I do that <laughs> but it really is up to you also not only that but if you wanted to like I said mark 
with a uh, sharpie with a marker where your elastic quarters are all that stuff you can do that remember to get all your three layers in there and use pins if you need to um, to help you hold it all together Alright, down to our last steps, which is to grab our elastic, fold it in towards the inside, and then we're going to go and top stitch. So just like we did in that neck area, we're going to go ahead and fold it down and top stitch with your favorite method, however you want to top stitch. And then, you know, and start trimming all these, whoop, there went my swimsuit start trimming all these little pieces of thread that well, I do not need that anymore all these pieces of thread that you have here left over and we're gonna do the same for the legs leg elastic the, both arm elastic and leg elastic friends we are finished now all we need to go back and do is trim all these little fuzzies everywhere threads everywhere but our suit is completed and I'm kind of actually kind of glad about the fact that I used a different contrasting color because um, it looks really really super cute I love it I think it looks amazing I think the hardest part about this suit is trying to figure out which one's the liner which one's the outer which one goes where uh, but once we get a hang of that it's super easy and super quick um, I guess I wouldn't say super quick but su <laughs> pretty easy um, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it helps you to make your own beautiful swimsuit um, please comment like share subscribe if you haven't follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you can see what everybody else is making and you can be inspired and then you can share your makes and inspire us with your beautiful sews go check out the other video for the second option of this pattern because as Ellie and Mac is known for there are tons of options on this swimsuit pattern so go check out the bikini option um, and go grab bo uh, both this one pattern go grab this pattern go sew it up and then come let us know on facebook or instagram show it show it off um i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all next time bye